Hi, I'm Scott, Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to my channel. Hit the like, subscribe, and YouTube buttons. Um, today, we were good. we had plans to shoot a bunch of Russian weapons, but we have limited time, so we defaulted to 223 because we don't have to clean it. HK-33. Uh, David has shot this before. Uh, I don't think Stan has, so I'm going to get him out on the range. This is a Malaysian Contact 33. Um, I did do one thing with it. I put a real steel end cap on it, and I like the trigger, this trigger group better than what came on the Malaysian, but this is a real 30, German 33 blood cap instead of the ones they used where they took a modified MP5 and put a plastic spacer in there. Also, we're going to use four different magazines. The aluminum 40, a steel 40, a steel 30, made in Germany, and a date coded 25. We've already filmed that part, and I screwed up on the camera, so you won't get to see David shooting this one, but we did use this one. All right, I'll show you some range footage, and then we'll be back for a conclusion. Lock it open, it's an HK. Oh, I always forget about that. We were just outside. It is hot as you know what, which it, that I like that part, but the 2,000% humidity is a little tough on us old guys. These guys aren't old. This guy's old. Anyway, we took the HK-33 out. Um, in the intro, I showed you what the magazines and what the guns were. We'll do, Stan, what you think? I like the gun. It felt uh, felt very solid uh, for a, uh, a very well a, a very well built gun. Uh, controllable recoil. Uh, you know, rate of fire wasn't too fast. Kept on target. Compared to, well, this would be comparable to the, in this time period would be an M16A1 or the early M16A2. Yeah, yeah, much more solidly built gun. Uh, and rate of fires, rate of fires lower. A little easier to, a little easier to, con, a little easier to control, I thought. David? Yeah, I agree with Stan on that. Very solid. Um, I, I knew somebody that had one of these, a transferable, I believe, and he complained how uncontrollable it was and how it kicked, and that's, you know, I mentioned to you, and you're like, hold on a minute, and you pulled yours out, we shot it, and it was, I don't know what the guy was talking about, to be honest. Really easy control, really fun to shoot, enjoyable, you know. I think the uh, roller lock really shines in the 223 in the amp and in the 9mm. Um, if we shoot the right ammo and I set me L, it works fine. Um, this one, well worn in, so it'll shoot anything, you can shoot to a lot of this or whatever. The point is, I know I know how to say this without sounding like a shill. These guys are freaking fantastic. If you can get one, if you can afford a real HK, God bless you, buy it. If you can afford the Century gun, which are ten of them, I think, buy it. Or even the Century, what they call a 43P. If you buy the Century C93, check it out because a lot of them weren't in spec. I believe the black ones that were redone by Bud's gun are pretty good. But overall, this gun is well underrated. Oh, it's awesome. Very good. Um, I think that uh, 
There's a version of this called the G41, which I've played with. I don't have one. It had a last round hold open. It took standard M16 mags. I think that would have been a phenomenal gun. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed watching us shoot a piece of history. Thanks for coming to the channel.